What's going on, Adult Fitness? I hope you all are staying well and safe and active during this time. My name is Josh Riggs, and I'm going to be leading you through a quick full body warm up today. And we're just going to jump right into things, and we're going to start off by marching. Go ahead and get those knees up, get that heart pumping, that blood flowing. We're just going to keep marching and we're going to go ahead and add some arm swings into this. Keep going, make sure you're getting that full range of motion, extending those arms out and bringing them back in. You're going to keep doing these arm swings for about five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to keep marching and we're going to go ahead and start doing some arm circles. Go ahead, start small. We're going to work our way bigger. Keep getting a little bit bigger until you have a full range of motion. You're going all in a full circle. Do this for about five more seconds in five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go ahead and stop marching. And the next thing that we're going to do move into some calf raises and you can move to the edge of a mat or you could move to the edge of a stair. This is going to increase that range of motion, make these calf raises a little more difficult. And what we're going to do is we're going to start doing those. We're going to pause at the top, hold and work on that balance and back down and up and back down. And we're going to keep doing these calf raises for a little bit more, about 10 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. So next thing we're gonna do is we are going to just start step forward and step back. So one, two, three, four. We're just gonna get that down. And then when you get that down, we're gonna go ahead and add in some bicep curls. Just remember that one, two, three, four. Bicep curls up and down. I'm going to keep on doing this for about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and keep mark or keep stepping forward and back. And then we're going to go ahead and bend forward slightly at the hips and do tricep extensions. Really extend those arms and flex those triceps as soon as those arms are fully extended. Doing good, everyone. Keep it up. About five more seconds. And four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and keep this step forward and step back going. And then we're going to go ahead and move into a bicep stretch. We're going to put those arms back, supinate those hands toward the ceiling, and we're going to feel that stretch in the upper arms and those biceps. The further that you put those arms up, the more you're going to feel that stretch in your arms. I'm going to do this for about 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Next thing that we are going to move into while we are continuing to step is going to be a tricep stretch. We're going to go ahead and put our right arm behind our back. Try to reach down and touch the middle of your back with your right hand. With your left arm, you're going to pull that arm back, feeling that stretch in your tricep. Remember to keep stepping forward and back during this time, and we're going to hold this for about five more seconds. Two, 
and one. Go ahead and switch arms. You want to hold just below the elbow joint and you want to stretch to a point of strain but not pain. Keep it up everyone, you're doing great. All right, five more seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Next thing we're gonna do is just a simple arm across shoulder stretch. We're gonna start with the right arm first. Pull that arm across and feel that stretch in your shoulder. And you remember you wanna be either above or below the elbow joint, but not directly on it. Keeping these one, two, three, four steps going. We're gonna switch arms in five, four, three, two, and one. And switch and do that left arm now. Just gonna hold this for a few more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That we're gonna go ahead and stop those step forward and back. And the next thing that we are gonna move into is a chest stretch and we are going to clasp our hands behind our back and push that chest out. You wanna feel that throughout your entire upper chest. You're just gonna hold that. You want kinda of do a little side step with it as well. We're just gonna hold that chest stretch for about six more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. From there, we're gonna go do the opposite thing, clasp our hands in front of our body. We're gonna roll that upper back out. And just wanna feel that stretch in our upper back. Gonna hold that for about five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna get into a standing leg abductor raises. We're just gonna raise our right leg, get that up as high as you can. If you can, if you have a band, go ahead and place that around your ankles. That's gonna increase the difficulty of this. Just raising that right leg up and back down. Do this for about five more seconds, then we're gonna switch legs. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch legs. In five, four, three, two, and one. Next thing we are gonna move into our back step lunges. We're just going to step back and lunge. Come back up. Going to keep on doing these back step lunges for about five more seconds. Two and one. Next thing that we are going to move into are some back squats. We're going to go ahead and get our feet shoulder width apart, squat back, push those hips out, and come back up. Remember, if you don't want to go 90 degrees, that's going to lower that joint pain in your, in your knees gonna be a little bit less difficult. Gonna go ahead and keep squatting. About five, four, three, two, and one. From here, next thing we're gonna go into is a quad stretch. Gonna go ahead and grab our right leg, pull that right leg up and feel that stretch throughout your quad. You wanna lean forward you'll get a little bit more stretch in that quad, making it a little bit more challenging to balance. We're gonna hold this for a few more seconds, then we're gonna to switch to our left leg. In three, two, one. Now we're gonna go switch to that left leg and hold this. Lean a little bit forward, feel that stretch in your left leg. And three, 
two, and one. From that quad stretch, we are going to move into warrior two pose. So we're gonna go ahead and point our right toe out. Keep that left one facing forward. We're just going to lean to our right and hold this pose for a few more seconds. Really focus on your breathing, keeping your ab tight. And we're going to move to the ground here in three, two, and one. So we're just going to drop that back left leg. And from here, we are going to move into a pigeon stretch. We're gonna go ahead and take that right leg, put it down, put that knee on the ground, and then lean forward into that. You wanna feel that stretch throughout your glutes as well as your outer thighs. And hold this for about six more seconds. Three, two, and one. And now we are gonna go ahead and switch legs, bringing that right leg back and that left leg forward. I'm gonna go ahead and lean down. And the further you lean forward, the more stretch you're gonna feel with this. Remember, you wanna to stretch to a little bit of strain, but not pain. I'm gonna hold this for about five more seconds. And four, three, two, and one. From here, we are just going to extend those legs out and get into a plank position. And we are gonna hold a plank for about 20 seconds. And up. Hold that, keeping the abdomen tight. You want your back to be as flat as a tabletop. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next thing that we are gonna do are some push-ups. And if you want to modify these and make them a little less challenging, go ahead and stay on your knees. And you're gonna go ahead and do ten push-ups here. We're gonna start together and go down, up, one, down, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. From there, we're gonna go ahead and get on all fours. And what we're gonna do are some cat and cows next. And we're gonna go ahead and Roll that upper back out, come down, stretch those abs out. And roll that upper back, down into stretching those abs. I'm gonna continue to do this alternating about five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna go into some bird dogs or some alternating arm and leg rises. So we're gonna start by raising those right arms in that left leg and hold it. And then we're gonna switch the left arm and right leg. I'm gonna continue to do this for about 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. From these bird dogs, we are gonna go ahead and sit back into a child's pose. You want to feel this throughout your inner thighs and your hips, as well as your lower back. We're just gonna hold this child's pose for about 10 more seconds. In five, four, 
three, two, and one. From child's pose, we're gonna go ahead and get onto our right side. Get on that elbow, bring your left leg in front of your right, and we're gonna do some single leg adductor raises. We're gonna begin those in three, two, one. Just lift that right leg straight up as high as you can. If you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, go ahead and lay down on your side completely and lift that leg up a little bit higher. All right, five more seconds, then we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna go ahead and come up, go down to the other side, bring that right leg in front of your left leg, and we're gonna do the same thing, but on the other side. Begin in three, two, and one. About eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna go ahead and come up into a seated position. The next thing that we are gonna go into is a butterfly stretch. I'm gonna grab those feet, pull them in close as you can. Keep your back straight. Don't wanna hunch over and don't pull, push on your knees to put them out. Just let gravity push them down. I'm gonna hold this butterfly stretch for about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna go ahead and extend that left leg out now, keeping that right leg in this bent position. We're gonna go into a hamstring stretch. Stretch as far as you can to the point of strain but not pain. You're gonna feel this back in your hamstrings. I'm gonna hold this for about five more seconds. In four, three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna bring that right leg over our left leg, pull it close in with that left arm, and feel that stretch throughout your glutes. And the further you pull that leg up, the more stretch you're gonna feel. I'm gonna hold this for about five more seconds. And four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna go ahead and extend that right leg out now. Bring that left leg into a bent position. I'm gonna go ahead and do a hamstring stretch down to the right leg. We're gonna hold this for about five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna do the same thing here by bringing that left leg over, bring the right arm over that left leg, and pulling it close to your chest. I'm gonna hold that again for about five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Last thing that we are gonna do Let's go ahead and extend both of those legs out. Put your hands just behind your body. Pull those toes back to you, stretching those calves out. Just gonna keep holding that. And the further you lean forward, the more of a stretch you'll feel. Hold for about five more seconds and four three, two, and one. From there, we're gonna slowly make our way back up to our feet. And we're going to end with some high knees and some jumping jacks. And what we're gonna do is 20 seconds of high knees. And we're gonna start that right about now. Get those knees up. Go as quick as you can. 
really get that heart rate going. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. Last thing we're gonna end with is 20 jumping jacks. And if you wanna lower the impact on these jumping jacks, go ahead and do step jacks. Instead, we're gonna do 20 on now. Ten, halfway there. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the warm-up. Have a nice day.